everyone, it's Pat from Bad Dev Music and we're back with another really quick video. Now, the whole point of this video is it's for beginners, intermediate and advanced players. So, it's going to be nice and quick, I'm going to show you how you would tune your guitar if you're a beginner, if you're just starting out. But once we've done that, and that'll be over really quickly, if you're an advanced guitarist or have been playing for years and you think you're an intermediate or, a, you know, an advanced guitarist, this video is definitely for you because is your guitar actually in tune? We're going to talk about different ways to tune it right now. If you're just starting out, you might be tuning with harmonics. You might be tuning with different open strings. The best way is just like what I'm going to do here is turn on an actual proper tuner. So that's what we're doing right now. So. All that you need to remember when you're tuning is you can either go thick string down to thin string or thin string up to thick string. How you remember the names of the strings is up to you. You could say, if you're going from the thick string down, you could say Eddie A Dynamite, good by Eddie, or E A D G B E, Eddie A Dynamite, good by Eddie. Or if you want to go thin strings up, you could say Easter Bunny, goes dancing at Easter. Completely up to you. Either way, you'll remember that the names of the strings are E, A, D, G, B, E. Right, so you've got that. How you would tune up, how I would tune up if I was just starting out. Regardless, I wouldn't use my ear, I wouldn't use a piano that's in the room just yet. I would use a tuner. So, plug into the tuner, use a clip-on tuner, play an open string. Is it in tune? Okay, make sure that it's not too sharp, it's not too flat, it's sitting between the two levels, exactly where it needs to be. Continue that, oh, a little bit flat there, so tuning up. Continuing that for all of the strings. Now, if you're just starting out and you're not sure, you're, you're seeing sort of a note that's, let's have a look, you're seeing a note that's flat and you're thinking, oh, what do I do? Just do small turns. There's no harm in just having a go. So if you're not sure, turn it one way. Oh, okay, well that's E flat, so that's not right. So I have to go the other way. Keep playing the string and keep tuning, keep tuning while slowly turning until, once again, until it's back between those two symbols. Now, if you're just a beginner, tune up that way. Awesome. If you've been playing for a few years or a little while, you need to check, is your guitar actually in tune all over the neck? That might sound a little bit confusing. You might think, well, yeah, I just tuned it up, so sounds in tune to me. Sounds in tune, right? Well, you actually have to check that. We're checking the intonation. Now, if that doesn't make sense, watch this for the next sort of minute. So, what you need to do is play an open string, let's say the thinnest string. Then you play the 12th fret. Use the same amount of picking pressure, because if you pick too hard, it might sort of tend to go a little bit sharp. But just use the same amount of pressure. Let's check the tuning. So, we've got an open E string. All right, that's in tune. Let's play the 12th fret. All right, that's in tune too. What about the B string? Okay. So, if you're wondering, all right, well, what if a string is too sharp or what if it is too flat? So what you actually have to do is, depending on what bridge you have, is you either have to move the string, so create the string longer or make the string shorter. That's called intonation, and that's what we're doing. It's, it's how long those strings actually are. Does it sound crazy? So, what you'll need on most guitars is you'll either need an Allen key for my electric guitar, or you might need a Phillips head screwdriver, you might need a flat screwdriver, but basically what you're doing, and I'll have a zoom in, is you've got these little saddles that hold your string in, and see how they're staggered. They're not all sort of flat. Some are a little bit further than others. So what you've got to do is you've got to play the string, and if the string is too sharp when you get to the 12th fret, then you need to flatten it off a little bit. Or if the string is too flat, then you need to sharpen it up a little bit. And that'll all relate to when you're turning the Allen key. So, really quickly, and remember, this is for more of the intermediate advanced guitarists out there, I've got holes on the sort of bridge of my guitar. So what I would do is put in the Allen key. Now let's just say the thinnest E string is too sharp. So what I would need to do is put in the Allen key, just like that. And if it's too sharp, how I remember, 
is it's too sharp? Okay, so you need to lower it. So the Allen key needs to turn towards the floor. So imagining the Allen key is in there and it needs to turn towards the floor if the note is too sharp. However, if the note is too flat, then it needs to go up or it needs to, you need to turn the Allen key closer to the sky. So you need to put in your Allen key and turn it in the direction of the sky if your note is too flat. Now with any sort of adjustment or you're setting up your guitar, do small changes first and then double check everything. That way you'll be okay, you won't break anything. Just do small adjustments. So if I was, let's say, if I was going to make an adjustment like this, I put it in and I, it's a bit flat so I go all the way around. Okay, so what I would do is then I would play the open string, I would check the tuner, I would tune up the string because the string length has changed so your string is gonna be out of tune. I would tune up and I would check it again on the open string and on the 12th fret. Is it still flat? Is it still sharp? And I would just repeat that process until you've got it to the point where it looks like, like it is on my screens. You've got open string is in tune, 12th fret is in tune too. That's how you ultimately check if your guitar is in tune. It might be in tune over here, but is it actually in tune over here? What do you think of this video? Definitely leave me a comment below. Let me know. So whether you're a beginner or an intermediate or an advanced guitarist, we've got you covered. If you're wondering what sort of size Allen key, it is five of slash 64th, but that is for Music Man guitars. If you have a different guitar, you might need a different Allen key. It might need a different screwdriver, but I highly recommend go to your local music store, pay them 20 bucks, 30 bucks, just do one off and just ask them, ask them to show you. Once someone's physically in the room showing you, if you're not, sort of brave or courageous enough to take it on yourself, then you'll, you'll learn and you'll know forever. But otherwise, that's been it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again.